Hello, Diva family. I hope you all are safe and that you are well. It's Natasha, aka Wellness Diva Chronicles Keto, and I'm back with another video for you guys. I've definitely missed making videos for you guys and interacting with you guys. I just needed a bit of a mental health break. Everything that's going on has been so crazy and so stressful. I know it's super easy to get sidetracked with eating plans and lifestyle and stress eating is a real thing. So I just wanted to make a quick video for you guys with an easy recipe that the kids will love, you'll love, everybody's going to love it. And you can even freeze these and just have them ready to pop in the oven whenever you're ready to eat. Sharing different recipes with you guys is a great creative outlet for me and I hope it provides a break, a level of respite for you guys and great recipes to enjoy with your family. So we'll get started by making our super simple dough. We're going to use the low carb keto flour as a base. It's an all purpose flour and we're going to add one tablespoon of yeast. You don't have to proof this one like you do dry yeast. By the way, you're going to be adding two and a half cups of the low carb keto flour. And just keep in mind, I will post all the ingredients and measurements and macros in the description box below. Just go ahead and toss that instant active yeast into the bowl with the flour mix. Then add one quarter teaspoon of baking soda to the dry mix. Whisk the dry ingredients together to combine. Now add the warm water to the dry mix. Mix the ingredients with a hand mixer on medium level for about three minutes. You can also do this by hand, but then you're gonna wanna do it for four minutes. But even after we use the hand mixer, I go back in and knead the dough for about another minute. Once the dough started forming and was still a bit sticky, I turned off the hand mixer and then went in with a spatula and just kept combining it that way. And like I mentioned, the last step, I just went ahead back in and manually started kneading the dough. And I topped it with some of the keto all-purpose flour just to prevent the dough from sticking to my board. And also I added a little bit to my hands to keep the dough from sticking to my hands. You can of course add whichever toppings you like, whatever you have on hand. It's totally up to you. Once you have the pizza dough based down, you can make any variation of pizza that you want. I figured I'd do two different styles for you guys. So I'm going to do a marinara based sauce pizza and also a white cheese pizza. Once you separate your main dough into two equal parts, you're just going to want to go ahead and roll out your dough. I like to make mine as thin as possible. It ends up being about 1 16th of an inch thick. It's as thin as you can get it without compromising the integrity of the dough. Unlike say like a fat head or a cauliflower hybrid style, uh, you're not going to have to do any pre-baking. So I just top the raw dough up for the crust with marinara sauce, then go in with some pizza blend that was running out that you could put about a quarter cup on. And then I go in with some mozzarella. I added about three quarters of a cup of mozzarella cheese. I don't like to add too many toppings or else it gets weighed down and it can make the crust soggy sometimes. So I like to tread lightly. I then top the pizza with some chopped green bell peppers and also some black sliced olives. Now's the perfect time to go ahead and preheat your oven to 405 degrees Fahrenheit. I then add some turkey pepperoni to complete the first layer of toppings 
And then I went ahead and repeated the process again with the peppers, olives, cheese, pepperoni. Top the cheese into the oven. 405 degrees for between five to seven minutes. You're gonna to wanna to check your oven. You're just gonna to wanna to do it until the cheese is melted and the crust is beautifully golden brown. I was definitely impressed with the texture of the crust, the taste of the crust, how it folded up like a real pizza would, and how it was able to hold a considerable amount of toppings. Okay, now on to the white cheese pizza recipe. Our dough is already prepped and waiting, so we can just go ahead and make the mascarpone cheese topping for the pizza. Add half of the seasonings noted for the cheese pizza to the mascarpone cheese mixture, and then we're gonna end up topping the actual pizza after we put on the mozzarella once again. Then just stir the cheese with the seasonings until well combined, then set that aside. Once you've set aside your cheese mixture, go ahead and roll out your dough for your crust. Also, if I didn't mention it before, you're gonna wanna use a baking pan to make the pizza, and I line my baking pan with parchment paper and then just give it a light spray with nonstick spray, just for safety. Once you roll out and shape your dough, go ahead and start putting dollops of the mascarpone cheese mix on top of the dough spreading it out pretty evenly. And you don't want to put any of your toppings too close to the edge, or when it starts to melt in the oven, it may be a whole mess. Now top the pizza with a quarter cup of the pizza blend shredded cheese. And then top the pizza with about one teaspoon of white chopped onion. Then go ahead and top the pizza with three quarters of a cup of mozzarella cheese. Then lastly, go ahead and just repeat all the seasonings that you did initially, use the rest of those, and then it's time to put it in the oven. Again, you'll wanna have preheated your oven to 405 degrees Fahrenheit. You're gonna to wanna to bake the pie from five to seven minutes. It'll depend on how hot your oven runs, but you're just gonna to wanna to make sure that the pie has a nice golden crust like this and that the cheese is well melted and everything looks delicious just like so. And there you have it, Keto Fam. Pizza two ways using the low carb company's all purpose flour. I hope you guys enjoy the recipe. Please comment down below if you've used this flour before and if you make the recipe, I'd love to hear about your experience. Also, please like the video if you did and share it with somebody else that you think would love it as well.
And as always, until the next time, my divas, stay safe and be well. Bye-bye.